Hello everyone. I have come up with another new concept today and we are going to learn this concept by means of a question. Do ideal electrical energy sources really exist? So ever since you might have started studying about electrical energy store, uh, sources, you might have learned about uh, the voltage source and the current source, but do they really exist? Hi, I'm Shilpa Sambi. Now let's together understand and learn the new concept today. So we have uh, studied two types of electrical energy sources, the voltage source and the current source. So let's quickly get an overview of both the sources and understand what is ideal in these two cases. So if we talk about the voltage source first, so voltage source is some device which is supposed to give constant voltage across the terminals. As you can see in this small uh, circuit here, this voltage source Vs must provide the constant voltage V across these terminals. Now, in an ideal case, what will happen? This Vs should come across uh, these two terminals. But what happens basically that there is some resistance which is offered by the circuit and there are two categories which provide this resistance. So the first resistance is offered by this voltage source itself and how this voltage source is providing this resistance because of the components with which it has been constructed. Then the next uh, opposition or the resistance is provided by the resistance in the material of these conducting wires. So together these resistances are uh, uh, collected together and they are shown in the form of a series resistance which is presented here in the form of RS. So ultimately what will happen if you simply apply Kirchhoff's voltage law you will say that the voltage across the terminals here will be equal to the voltage uh, given by this voltage source Vs minus the voltage drop which is appearing across this resistance Rs. So ultimately the terminal voltage V will be equal to Vs minus Irs. If you try to plot the Vi characteristics of such a voltage source then you will see that the actual value will slightly deviate from the idle line. Now what is ideal voltage source? For the sake of simplicity in the analysis of the circuit we just try to neglect this voltage drop and make it equal to zero. So in this case we say that the voltage of this voltage source Vs will completely appear across the desired terminals. So in this graph also what you observe that the terminal voltage will always be the voltage Vs which is provided by the voltage source. But remember here that such ideal sources only appear in the theoretical concepts. Practically you will always get resistance in the form of the components which are constructing this uh, voltage source here and the material which is used in manufacturing these conducting lines. Now let's talk about the current source. So in the similar way like we have discussed about the voltage source, the same things, the similar things will be coming up here also. So what is a current source? Current source is basically a device which is supposed to provide constant current as an output to the desired branch. Okay, now here what will happen practically? There would be some resistance which will be offered by the components which are used for the construction of this current source and naturally the resistance uh, which is there in the conducting wires. So together Collectively, this resistance will be represented as a parallel resistance Rs parallel to the current source. Now, if you apply Kirchhoff's current law at this terminal and uh, you say that the terminal voltage here is V, 
then applying Kirchhoff's voltage law, what you will get? This entire total current is now splitted in two parts. One which is going in this branch, the other which is going as I. So, if you just simply apply KCL here, this current I will be equal to the current provided by the current source minus the current taken up by this resistance RS. So, IS minus VS RS will be the final value of this current I. Now, if we just look into the VI characteristics of uh, this particular uh, current source here, what you will find that the actual value will slightly deviate from the ideal value. Okay, now what is the ideal current source here? If by chance we say that the value of resistance RS is very small, is very large, okay, this is very large. So, in that case, what will happen? V by RS will become a very small value. Okay, why it will become a very small value? Because it is V divided by RS. If RS is a large value, then the reciprocal of a large value will be a very small value, which is totally offered by this entire fraction here. So, ultimately, V by RS current can be neglected and taken as zero. In such a case, the current which is um, offered by the current source will be equal to the current I of the branch. So, again I will say here that the ideal current source is only a theoretical concept and this is considered only for the simplicity for the analysis of a circuit. So, I hope at this point you might have understood that there is nothing perfect in this world. So, how can be the electrical energy sources can be so ideal, so perfect. So, always remember that the mechanical components which are making or constructing these voltage sources and the current sources and their inherent property of the material of those uh, components as well as of the conducting wires, they do offer some resistance and so a voltage source will also have some drop, the current source will also have some drop and so it can never ever be an ideal source. So I hope this particular concept is clear and uh, you might have got some important insight into this particular topic. So do follow us for more such updates and more such tips and tricks to achieve your dream gate score. So thank you and happy learning.